everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, CragSat, Turning Problems into Solutions. This is me, Priyasha Das, and today we will be taking a session on decision making. Decision making is quite a unique section which comes in the ZAT examinations compared to the other MBA exams. But this kind of a decision making question is quite often found in the other competitive exams as well. This is also called as situation test, etc. So these kind of questions will really test how and well you can take a decision in your daily life situations. And this is one of the most important things to be tested in any person. And no matter in whatever field you're working, something which is really important is taking the right decisions because that will guide you to the right path or the expected outcome. So let's get started with how the decision making questions are solved. So before knowing this, let us try to understand what is the examiner's point of view while giving these questions. So whenever a decision making question is framed, we give around four to five options and the options can be classified into the category of uh, bad. Yeah, bad decision, of course. Another kind of decision can be an unethical decision. So unethical, of course, not for the person who is doing it, but for the other people, it might be a loss or it might be a wrong act. So therefore, one option will definitely be a bad option. That is a bad decision for the respect, like with respect to the person who is making it. And one decision or one option will be unethical, which will be not a correct option to take. We can have then three more options which will be categorized into good, better and best. So how to find out between this good, better and best? So we'll take an example and we'll try to prove this point. Generally, the good ones are considered to be the options where we take a stagnant decision like uh, what we call in Hindi as Jaisa Chal Raha Hai, Vaisa Chalne Do. This kind of an attitude is considered to be an not a very good, but it's a kind of okay, okay decision which we take. But before I explain further, I would like to take an example and tell you and show you all the five different options which are created by the question paper setter so that your way of going up with these questions will become faster and easier. Let's scroll up and see the example. So here comes the example. Tony is a shopkeeper who sells the goods of daily use. He is facing a loss in his business for the last two months. The most probable reason for his loss is the newly inaugurated supermarket, which is just a kilometer away from his shop. And it is providing goods at a much discounted rate and also giving additional offers. Wait a second. Just have a pause. Now, when you realize that you have read half of the information given, try to figure out whether you can make something out of it. You can understand what is happening, what is the problem of Tony and why is it happening. Now, when you read the remaining part of the passage, you will realize that it is just given to waste our time. Losses are occurring in the food items. He's in a dilemma, worried about his family. It's just a reputation if you see. And he has consulted many relatives and families and friends, something for which we are not worried about. And now when we see the real question that what should be the best course of action in this situation? So we have five options with us. Option number one says, knowing that he can't compete with the price of the supermarket, Tony should close his shop and avoid further losses. This particular option should be avoided at any cost because this is a bad decision. Bad decision with respect to Tony because running away from a situation and not facing a problem is not a skill which is required in a person. And that is why option A will be a straight away gone option. Now next we have Tony can adulterate the food items and also use a faulty weighing machine to save his profit now this is profitable with respect to tony but unethical with respect to his customers and gaining profits 
by harming others is not going to be a correct decision at all so that's why option b will be going out because it is profitable for tony but unethical for his customers so this is the classification i am really not solving the question here i am just trying to tell you how the examiner or the question paper setter will make options for you in every question of decision making you will get these five options where one will be a bad decision with respect to the person we are talking about and the other will be a profitable option with respect to the person we are talking but definitely an unethical thing for the person on the other side now let's come to option c and check out tony should continue his business and wait for the people to realize that it is easier for them to purchase from a local shop than a supermarket now this is what we call as a stagnant decision whatever is happening let it happen at its own pace this is not preferred to be the best decision until and unless you can't do anything with respect to this problem but here tony can do something with respect to this problem so of course staying still and not taking any move and just depending upon others for your own profit or your good will not be considered to be the best decision and therefore this is a good but not a best decision and so we will not be considering this as our answer next comes option d now d and e has a good competition between themselves because one is a better option and the other one is the best but how to figure out that remember that in the options they will not give you the complete information that what will be the outcome by doing this they are just asking you the course of action so they will not tell you the result of this action result is what you have to understand on your own or interpret on your own so let's see what is the course of action mentioned in option d tony will come up with a scheme of maintaining a tab for his customers and maintaining a tab means lending the goods and taking the payment later now this scheme can definitely attract many customers to his shop because this is something which is not been uh, awarded or given by the supermart or the other shopkeepers maybe so this can be a good option to take of course this can be a good decision because at least tony is doing something to save his business compared to the above three options he is at least making a stride to save his business and gain profits so yes we will consider it to be one of the good decisions to take now depending upon what is the other option given we will finalize our answer so let's come to the last option tony will collaborate with the other local shopkeepers close to that area and will provide variety of products at a much lower price and share the profits now here comes the master stroke why would we go for option e as our answer and not b the reason is e is ethical yes e is profitable to the tony as well as his customers and the most important thing is it is also profitable to the shopkeepers around him now from here you need to understand that if he takes this action what will be the possible outcome you have to interpret that the possible outcomes can be that there will be no monopoly of a single shop in the uh, particular area and there will be a collaboration so of course people would be getting variety of products in the markets or in the normal shops only and they would not really go for a supermarket until and unless they wish to visit that place and they would be getting it at a lower price also compared to earlier times and this will create a harmony situation in the locality as well so one action leading to so many good things will definitely be considered to be the best decision taken in this respect and when we compare the advantages and disadvantages of option d there can be a risk involved in option d that the people might refuse to pay the money or don't pay the money at time so this can further be a loss for tony so keeping these things into mind and making a balanced decision we would go for option e to be a perfect answer for this situation 
so guys if you do like this video and you learned something how to make a proper decision over here using this example please don't hesitate to like this video and share it with your friends and family because that might reach a night needful person and of course don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't done it yet because that would show me your support so until we meet again thanks for watching and take care